All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And today we are here on some Forza Motorsport Six with this thing. This is a uh, it's a weird car for me to actually take a look at, but uh, I have a reason for this because this is a car that doesn't get much love in the car world, uh, mostly because at the beginning of this car's life, it was pretty much even now little bit you, you'll be able to see a couple of these uh these Toyota Celicas or if you're in the US a Celica which is the exact same thing it's just different pronunciation but you guys will be able to see some of these around on the roads that are kind of riced because these came out pretty much in the years of the rice uh you guys know the early 2000s and uh yeah, this is, uh, this is a car that came out very, very close to that, and it just doesn't get much love. Like, the DC5 Integra, which is pretty much the same as this, except it's obviously a Honda. It's sort of like its competitor. It's uh, it's getting a lot of love. It's a it's a, it's a it's a great car, but this Celica it does just... I don't know. People just don't like it as much. And uh, obviously, there is a specific, you know, um, a specific, per like, kind of people that actually do love this and like prefer this to any other, uh, you know, uh, coupe uh, Japanese car and everything. So there obviously is a market for these. People will look for these, but for the most part, they aren't very, very common. So I thought that I could go ahead and take this thing out and, uh, and just drive it a little bit, just see what it's like, take it around on the track. However, I will go ahead and improve its uh, its performance just a little bit. So with that said. Obviously, I love the older ones. This one, I just, I'm, I don't know, I'm not a massive fan of this car, but the older ones, oh my god, the GT4s, the, oh, they're so, so sick, but um, this is just kind of weird. It looks a little bit too modern. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know, but like the older Japanese cars are always much cooler and much nicer than the newer Japanese cars. Not because of any reason whatsoever, it's just that those older Japanese cars, the J the original JDM cars, they just like I don't know, they they ruled the market at one stage and they were so so sick and nowadays they just keep getting more and more expensive because they get rarer and rarer, especially trying to get one completely stock. You know, the 240, the RX-7, the NSX, the, the all the S chassis, they just keep getting rarer and rarer and uh yeah, this is this is one of the cars that just nobody cares for, to be completely honest. Uh, so I thought that we could go ahead and, like I said, take it out on the track a little bit and see what it's like. So for the tires, I'm going to go ahead and give this thing some sports tires because I'm going to take it around on a track. Probably got to be around Nürburgring. I'm not going to change too much on it. It's on 205s right now. I will change the wheels to something a little bit nicer looking. I mean, these are pretty much the same as the, the stock ones. Um, let's see. What can we actually add to this thing that... Ends up looking honestly. Decent. These almost actually look pretty good, especially in that I could darker color since the uh, since the car is in silver. And I'm not going to change the paint on the car either. I'm going to leave that in silver. Uh, for the tire width, I think I got to go and actually bring these up to 225s. Just so it, it'll basically give me a little bit more grip as well. So I'll bring these up to 225s and um, tire size or wheel size is fine. Arrow is okay. We could actually change a bunch of stuff to this thing. As you can see, I'll show you guys all the rice that I, I don't like it. That's kind of okay. It's still a little bit... I, I don't like the Toyota badge where it is. Like, I, I wish I could just take it off completely. That's just a normal Toyota kit, I guess. The trial one is kind of weird. And then there's the Forza kit, which honestly does not look that bad. It just looks very, very close to the, the original one, except it just has a bunch of, you know, aero kit on it. Um, I don't know which one to put on this thing. The, this, the first one, this one here, I just don't like at all. So, I might just go with... This one just looks so weird. The original Toyota one just looks so, so weird. I guess I'll go with the trial one. I mean, this one's not the best either, but at least the trial one is actually on, a like, a, an actual, like, time attack car. Like, there is a time attack trial Toyota Celica, one of these. Like, this is, I think, in Gran Turismo 6 as well. Or Gran Turismo 4 and 5, because I think it's just still a standard car. Um... But you'll be able to see that. Oh, what the hell is this thing? No, just, just, just no. This obviously doesn't look that bad because it gives it more of a race car look, but it's still a massive, massive wing. Oh my god! <laughs> Should we just go full rice with this thing? The rice Alika. Can we go full rice? And there's the trial wing, which is on the. I want it. Oh my god! I okay. Fuck it. 
I've changed all of my, my my outlook on this thing. Let's just go full rice, but I'll still try to make a handle well. All right, so full rice. Let's go. I don't even know which one. I'll, I guess I'll keep the original front lip on it. Yeah, let's let's keep the original front lip on it because I just I don't like that at all. And then for the wing, full rice. Oh my god, that looks disgusting. I can't believe that's act that actually gives it down for us. Oh my god, this actually just doesn't look that bad. The original Toyota kit on it just doesn't look bad because it looks stock, pretty much. Jesus Christ. Okay, sure. Let's put that on. Side skirts are already rice as fuck. Anything else? The wing, the wings west ones are just. <laughs> yep. There we go. Nice, nice and rice. There we go. Cool. Nice scoop for that. What is it? It's like a 1.8 liter, a two liter, or something. I don't even know. I think I gave it too, too nice of a, of a set of wheels for this thing. All right, so I'll put everything to sport. I'll put like sport, a sport clutch, sport transmission, and then we'll uh, take her out on the track. Which I've pretty much bought everything on sport. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, now for performance, I've said to myself, let's just sort of do some very very small upgrades to it and uh, upgrades that pretty much anybody can do uh, and everybody usually does when they get a car and they rice it out so the first thing is definitely gonna be an air filter which is most like just gonna be a pod filter and that's it so we'll go with the sports intake this is gonna give us a massive 10 horsepower increase it just doesn't happen in real life but okay sure we have to put an exhaust on it. It has to it has to be a race exhaust because it needs to be loud as fuck and straight pipe this this fuck as well. Uh, we're on 222 horsepower right now. Again, still still not how that works. And everything else, just nobody buys any 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 of this. Anybody that decides to race out their car, nobody buys any All of right, this. Alright, so that's pretty much it with this car. What are we on now? We're on 222 horsepower, 157 pound feet of torque, weighs 2,378 pounds. And it's a 59 to 41 front to weight distribution, front to rear weight distribution. And uh, let's just go ahead and drive this thing. First of all, before we do anything, I'm going to go save it. And we're going to go just take a look around the car just a little bit. Just to see what this thing actually ends up looking like now. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, dude. It's open everything. How do we, is that it? Does, does it not open the hood or the... Apparently not. You can't open the hood. Okay, anyway, let's turn on the light. Jesus, dude. That wing just kills me <laughs> every time I see it. Look at it. It looks just so bad. This is proper. We need a bigger exhaust. Like, why can't they? I don't know why we can't change the muffler tips in this, in this game. After so many years, and we can't do that. <sighs> Jesus. All right, well, we have our... We have our... Uh, a rice rocket here. <laughs> like I said, this thing came out in the years of the rice, so... Yeah, anyway, let's go into free mode and uh, hop on the track. Alright, now for the track selection, we decided to go with 24 players of AI. We have three laps on the Nürburgring GP circuit. It's during the day. Let's do it. This is gonna be stupid. This is gonna be fucking stupid. This thing only has like two... What was it? 222 horsepower. It's at the top of... Was it C-Class, I think? I think it was C-Class. I don't even know. I can't even remember anymore. It was C or D-Class. I don't even... I don't. I actually don't think it was D-Class. I think it's just C-Class. But this thing is going to be weird to drive. First of all, because it's a front-wheel drive. Not entirely sure why they never made like an all-wheel drive version of this. They had the GT4 in the past, the, the older Silicas, and uh, they had, they had all-wheel drive. I mean, not all of them. But most of them had all-wheel drive. There's, like, versions of them that had... Oh, Jesus, that wing again. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, let's drive it. I don't, I don't even care about the setup or anything. We can't change anything on it anyway. Ooh. That sounds... That sounds mean. Yeah, bro, let's go. That's exactly how everybody drives. Not entirely sure what's with the uh, little arrows.
That Range Rover is taking people out. Oh, come on. Not sure why I have those markers on to show me how close people are to me. They're like blind spot markers, I think. I love just revving the tits out of this. That's exactly what people do when they drive these sort of cars. You always have to hit the limiter before you change gear. Always. That's like a law between chavs. Always have to hit the limiter. It's weird though because... Every time you hear a Civic driving... It always hits the limiter before the person changes gear. Why is that a thing? It actually doesn't handle that bad. I know I'm trying to give it shit and everything, but... With the sports stuff all over it, it doesn't... It doesn't handle that bad. I thought the Super was going to turn in a little bit more, that's why I kind of crashed into it. <laughs> Alright, well, everything's a lot faster than me here. I mean, this only has two, 222 horsepower. This X6M is definitely going to be a lot faster than me. I don't know why. Well, I guess it's probably because of the... Uh, first of all, the weight. That's... Oh, God, dude. Because of the weight, he can't, like, turn around corners as fast. But, in a straight line, he should be absolutely demolishing me right now. I don't know why. See? Like, I don't have to slow down for that. Yeah, I think it's just the AI, like, difficulty. That wing again. <laughs> Perfect racing line. I'm getting pushed off the track. Goddamn Mustangs. Fuck you, Mustang. I need to take this guy out. I'm in 11th place. I'm not even paying attention to this. I'm just... I'm just driving. Alright, should we actually try to win this thing? Alright, let me tr try and do something here. Alright, well we got an R32 to spun out an RS6, I think that was. What is that guy doing? Look at him! <laughs> he gives no shits! Oh, that's an M5. That dude is just like, nah, fuck it. Oh, what the fuck? Welcome to Forza AI, everyone. I love how they decided to make all the AI so much more, like, quote unquote, realistic. But instead of them just making the drivers not be on rails, like on Gran Turismo, they made them be just actually retarded. Like, literally. Literally handicapped. Like, mentally challenged drivers. Come on. Why are you slowing down, NSX? Come on. Whoa! Did I just get to save the drift? Come on. I think that just reminded me of a video of some kid that I think tried to slide his his uh, Celica, the same one as these, and then hit off the curb and fucked his wheel up, and he fucked his axle up as well. I think. I think that was the same video. If you guys can find it, link it down in the comments. I'll let the link go through so people can see it. I just have like the one person find that video. Alright, we have one more lap. I forgot I had to slow down! Perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. Why am I driving like this? I don't even know. What's with all the little things all over the map? Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Uh oh. Poor Charger just ate shit there. 
All right, let's let's use my massive wing for this downforce and try to get some more grip with the front tires. I what? I don't even know. All right, I'm just gonna cut a little bit here. There you go. Nice. Good pass. That was a perfect pass game. Okay, random frame drop there. Not sure what that was all about. Yeah, we're gonna absolutely smash these guys. I think while we're here, we can actually get this into drift a little bit as well. There we go. Let's tap the E brake. Uh. Again, please keep in mind that this is a front wheel drive. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna tap the e brake and try to go sideways. <laughs> I love doing that, it's just so fun. To just randomly hit the limiter before we change. Okay, slow down a little bit too much there. <laughs> because of my uh, little handbrake thing. Alright, we can do it here because this isn't like a proper corner, this is just a bend. There we go. <laughs> These guys are still behind me. I have to, be, I have to actually be careful that they're going to probably overtake me. Yep, there he comes. Fuck you, I'm going to break later than you. There we go. Perfect. Perfect cornering. Alright, again, these guys are much faster than I am. Except I have better tires. And suspension, and that's probably why I'm ahead. And also because of, I don't know what their difficulty is set to, but... Alright, let's cut this. Nice. There we go. Take one of the tires with us as well. There we go. <laughs> Perfect cornering right there. See that? Wonderful. And that... There we go, hit the limiter one more time before we finish off this, this race. And that's it. <laughs> that was... The Toyota Celica. All riced up. We actually managed to win a race with it. Alright, well, that is gonna be it. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. It was kind of fun to mess around and actually take a look at this car because, like I said, not a lot of love shown for these things. I've seen one yesterday on the road. Uh, I mean, they're pretty common anyway, as it is. But you just don't pay attention to them, because I just don't care for them. But, like I said, I've seen one yesterday on the road, and I was like, hmm, these things are just... Like, nobody cares for these. So I thought I could make a video on it, because... Why not? Alright, so that's gonna be it. Thank you guys again for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys next time. Goodbye.